breakfast is on days when I eat breakfast my cravings are much lesser I'm in a much better mood and it's just the most perfect start to my day and welcome to sugar spice nice my name is Shweta and in this video I'm sharing with you seven days of breakfast now I wanted to film this video as a means to get myself to become more regular with eating breakfast I realized the value of eating breakfast on days when I eat some so basically I'm in a much better space I am able to focus better on my work my cravings for junk food for fried food for just you know random hunger cravings are much lesser because I've eaten this good wholesome meal in the morning so most of these dishes are Indian breakfast items they're all healthy and it's basically stuff that you can put together really easily so without further ado let's just straight jump into day one so for the first day I was super excited and I honestly had some extra time on hand so I thought of having some rava idlis and sambar for breakfast this is a very delicious breakfast but takes a little bit of time to prepare. I started by taking some rava or semolina and just roasting it first. I don't add any ghee or oil in this step. Once it's cooled off, I add about half a cup of curd and some grated carrot, coriander and ginger. You can add other vegetables too but I personally love carrots in my idlis. I also like my idlis to have a tempering so I heated some oil and in that I added some mustard seeds, some chana dal and curry leaves and once the dal is a little bit crunchy I added this to the rava mixture that I had prepared earlier and I also add some salt mix it well and then basically leave it aside for about 20 minutes in the meantime I prep for sambar so this is soaked tuar dal I soaked it just when I started roasting the semolina and now I'll wash it and put it in the cooker along with some turmeric I like to cook the dal first and then let the vegetables boil in it. For that, I'll start with heating oil and adding mustard, chilli, curry leaves and some hing. Then tomatoes and I like to saute the tomatoes for a few minutes and then I pour the blended dal on it. And then I throw the veggies along with some salt and sambar masala. The sambar masala that I use is badsha. I love the way the sambar turns out with this every single time. While the veggies are cooking, it's time to set the idlis. So just grease the idli mold and fill them with this and then let them steam. I do add a tiny bit of eno before I let them steam so the idlis turn out soft. Steaming them takes about 20-25 minutes. Going back to the sambar, so once the veggies are cooked, then I add some tamarind water for that nice sour flavor. And on this step, I also check whether the salt and sambar masala is fine. And I also just add a really tiny hint of sugar in my sambar. So this was the first day of breakfast. The rava idlis turned out great. I love the flavor from the tempering. And don't miss that in your idlis. You can skip adding veggies, but this tempering in these rava idlis is everything. And I have to say that this was a supremely fulfilling breakfast. Now day two, I was in a bit of a rush, so I needed something really, really quick, easy and filling. So poha is my ultimate choice for such days. So first I clean the poha, wash it and keep it aside so that it softens in the meantime. And then I chop onion and get onto the tempering. I use little oil while making poha, not too much, otherwise they turn out really greasy. And add some mustard, cumin, some chilli and curry leaves. And then goes the onion. I saute the onion till it looks like this, kind of like a bit pinkish translucent. And then I add the poha. Now I had some boiled potatoes which were left over from last night, so I'm just adding them in. If I don't have boiled potatoes ready, then I usually skip adding potatoes in my poha. And I added salt, turmeric, lemon and a little bit of sugar. And just really mix this well and cover it up for a few minutes. And that is really it for poha. So use less oil and make sure your poha is moist now so that they have this really nice light texture. My husband actually likes fried peanuts on his poha so I just added those to his serving. Day 3 I was honestly feeling lazy and reaching out for things like kakra and biscuits as breakfast. So I realized that I needed something quick 
and also crunchy. So I decided to make masala roti. Now in the whole wheat flour, I basically add a bit of chili powder, some crushed ajwain and salt. And when I rolled this out, I rolled it like a paratha. So after this, I basically added some ghee and I'm rolling it again. You can have these soft like rotis or theplas or you can make them a bit crispy. And both ways they taste amazing. So this is easy, tasty, quick breakfast and they go amazingly well with any pickle. I usually love them with chunda which is a very typical Sindhi Gujarati pickle and of course some ginger tea. Now day 4 was a very groggy morning so I needed some comfort food and I decided to make upma. So while the rava is getting roasted, I chopped up some tomato, ginger and capsicum and then I heated some ghee and I like to make my upma in ghee, I just feel it tastes better. In that I add a pinch of hing, some mustard seeds, some curry leaves and then I add the tomato, ginger and some salt. Now I like to make the tomato a bit mushy before I add water. And just before adding water, I added some capsicum as well. I add quite a bit of water because I like my upma consistency to be a bit more moist than dry. And also, I like it when it's more liquid than solid, if you know what I mean. Now, once this is boiled, you have to add the rava bit by bit like so. And you have to keep stirring at this point as there will be lumps in your upma. After some time, the rava absorbs all of the water and then I just add some lemon and some coriander before serving. So this is like my ultimate comfort breakfast. I can technically eat this for not just breakfast, but lunch, dinner, snack, anything. Day five, I wanted something tasty. And so I decided to make sandwich. So first, I just keep these potatoes for boiling because I need potatoes in my sandwich. And in the meantime, I'll prep for chutney. So I cleaned up the coriander for the chutney. And in my chutney, I add some ginger, chili, lemon, cumin seeds, and also a pinch of hing and raw peanuts. And once it's completely blended, I add some salt, some rock salt, and also a hint of sugar. For my sandwich, I like tomatoes, onion, capsicum, and boiled potatoes. So that is exactly what I'm doing here. And you can add whatever other veggies you like, like even beetroot. But this is what I like to stick to. You can even add cheese, but I tend to skip it. And this sandwich, I like it toasted over the flame as compared to a griller. So I'm using this sandwich toaster. And this turns out to be the most drool worthy and satisfying yet healthy breakfast. On day six, I was majorly craving something sweet. So I got some muesli, some yogurt, added some raisins and chopped pista and almond to it and a bit of cinnamon powder and also chopped up a banana on the side. Now this combination is so good. It's like a dessert bowl in itself and it not only fulfills sweet cravings but it's packed with so much fiber and you can actually add any fruit of your choice my personal favorites are banana pomegranate and mangoes finally for day seven i wanted to eat one of my favorites which is besan chilla or gram flour pancakes so for that i took some besan and i added just a little bit of water in the beginning and then just add whatever veggies you like. I usually add capsicum or carrots or tomatoes. So today I'm adding only capsicum. And I also added some ginger and coriander. And for flavoring, I add some salt, red chili powder and coriander powder. And here, don't keep the consistency of the batter too thin. Uh, it needs to be somewhere in between. Grease a non-stick pan and let it cook for some time. I even turn it over and let it cook for a couple of minutes. And this is what they look like when they were done. I love eating chilla with chutney and ketchup. So that was it for my seven days of breakfast. I hope this video helps you to start eating breakfast every day. It's one meal that you must not, should not skip. And I hope this motivates you to get that meal going for yourself. And if you like this video, then make sure you hit that thumbs up, share it with all your friends and family and subscribe to my channel. And if you want more such videos, then make sure you leave that in the comments below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.